we have to talk about also the influence of Fleming in that camp yeah. because they show the camera on him just no expression they are just so calm and composed so clearly are, that whole you are not selling ecg machines to csk no, uh, no, yeah. no yeah. absolute yeah. waste of time stevens i mean he's he just such a calming influence and and obviously with with ms that whole structure is is very much like that they don't celebrate the over celebrate the wins and they don't over complicate the losses mm -hmm. and you know the only time you get a a, a, a sort of a, a real smile and a, and a laugh out of Stephen Fleming is more often when he's away from the cricket away mm. from the coaching situation and that's not to say he's too serious because he's just I think he's the perfect mix of uh, he's the perfect blend of a coach he just he does not get over excited about winning and he does not get too down on guys or worry about it too much when they're losing he understands the game so well yeah. at, at, at times it probably was the detriment of his batting career but he was a brilliant captain and mm -hmm. tactician i don't I, you know i've said it before i don't know we ever saw the best of stephen fleming with the bat in test match cricket because of his captaincy but we got the best of new zealand because of his captaincy <laughs> yeah, if true. that makes sense so it, it's i mean and him and dhoni together oh. are just perfect because a lot of people say that dhoni doesn't speak too much his team yeah. meetings are mm -hmm. like 2 3 minutes yeah. we're I'm, done i'm told mm -hmm. that the team meeting at csk lasts for 2 minutes only if stephen speaks for 1 and 1/2 minutes yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's but, it. But yeah. it's that. What what's the best combination you can think of? I don't know. I mean, there's no point. I, cheese I, and onion, yeah. ham and cheese. What would you say if it? What, what, what? You're asking me about well, ham yeah, and no, cheese. No, no, no. Asking you about ham and cheese. <laughs> you know, what's your best combination? What I think about? some sea salt ice cream with oh, some more caramel on. Caramel brittle. It. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. That's that's us. So <laughs> we're on the same. You, you keep going. You do foodies, why? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, you know, just what. Again, we saw that Dhoni didn't really go in and say anything to Patirana. So it's not there's too much discussed between overs between them. So it's almost yeah. like you do your thing even yeah. to a 20 year old they just trust yeah. trust a youngster I think so and and that's generally been the case I mean very rarely have we seen MS go up to a bowler unless it's really turning pear shaped and really going badly um but it just I think they because he's got Bravo there Bravo will be talking to those guys and yeah. I think you're right Harsh she's probably doing a great job and and if they're not listening to DJ Bravo there's something wrong. Yeah, he was standing right on the edge of the boundary yeah. throughout the last so over. So yeah. they'll have their plans. He'll know what the the plan is and and in that last over he's got to execute two to three times out of six. Mm -hmm. So he's saying I'm trusting yeah. you to do it. You know and yeah. and if it went really badly he might go up and have a word to you know, him. You know it's similar I asked Sandeep Sharma I have to do one of those pre-match interviews mm. sometimes. And asked him about that last over when seven runs required of three. So what are the conversations with Sanju Samson? He said he just came and asked me, "What do you want to bowl?" Mm. And he said, "Okay, bowl it well, and go back." I think the calmer teams look. There's no point in a leader losing it because the moment the leader loses it, the team starts to think, "Oh my God, the captain's run out of yes. ideas." Yeah. Mm. You cannot have the leader losing it on a field because the players have got to look at the leader and say, "Maybe." he or she still got a trick up their sleeve up the sleeve so stay calm because also what happens when you're calm you're still thinking the moment you get angry you stop thinking that's why all of us do stupid things when we get angry yeah. because we stop thinking and i think you're seeing that the calm leaders eventually do uh, do do a lot better mm.